Patrick Baldwin is considered the number one prospect in the 2021 class, according to 24-7 Sports and Rivals.com. Baldwin holds offers from several of the Blue Blood schools, but Duke seems to be the front runner in landing a commitment from the five-star Ford. Now, you will rarely see Baldwin featured on a lot of these mixtape channels because he does not have the most exciting game. But let's be clear, Baldwin has lottery pick written all over him. Standing at 6'9", Baldwin is an extremely versatile prospect that may lack elite athleticism, but he more than makes up for it with his high-level skill set and long-range shooting ability. He definitely fits the mold of this new era of power forwards who can virtually do it all on the floor. Baldwin is one of the prospects that you could place at any high major school, and he would immediately help that team win games. He's just that good. But let's really take an in-depth look at Baldwin's game in this breakdown. Baldwin is a versatile offensive weapon that is capable of scoring the ball on all three levels. He is a legit sharpshooter that can really light it up from the perimeter when he gets in the rhythm. On the EYBL circuit, Baldwin shot an impressive 40% from three-point range for Phenom U, and he also shot an even better 43% from three during his junior season at Hamilton High School. At his size, it is virtually impossible for defenders at the high school level to contest his shot. Baldwin has a very smooth shooting stroke, and he's comfortable shooting off the catch and off the dribble. He has terrific balance and footwork on separation moves, and he has range that extends beyond the three-point line. Baldwin also has an effective mid-range game. He's capable of scoring the ball from 10 to 15 feet on pull-ups, on turnaround jumpers, and in face-up situations. I also like Baldwin's ability to put the ball on the floor and get to the basket in transition and in the half-court set. He does not have great speed or quickness, but he always finds a way to get to his spots on the floor at his own pace. Baldwin also has solid ball handling skills for his size, capable of taking his man off the dribble when slashing from the perimeter. His strong frame allows him to finish through contact, and Baldwin has great fluidity around the basket with either hand. And even though Baldwin likes to play on the perimeter, he is also a skilled scorer down low on the block. His footwork down low is very advanced for a player his age, and I was impressed with his ability to seal his man early to get in positions to score. He has excellent poise and patience when operating in the post, and Baldwin has an effortless soft touch around the basket. Overall, there is not much that Baldwin cannot do offensively, which is why many consider him the best player in his class. With his size and basketball IQ, Baldwin's potential as a playmaker is through the roof. Baldwin is a gifted passer that has shown the ability to create opportunities for his teammates on several occasions. Since he's able to see the floor so well, Baldwin is capable of making the right play in transition, when attacking from the wings, and when playing with his back to the basket. Even though Baldwin is a natural scorer, his elite court vision and willingness to pass the ball makes him that much more dangerous with the ball in his hands. Defensively, Baldwin can be used for a myriad of things, whether it be defending bigs in the paint or defending wings on the perimeter. He may not be a lockdown defender at the moment, but his physical tools and natural instincts project him to be a good defender at the next level. Baldwin already has NBA length, which he uses to his advantage when contesting shots, and his timing as a shot blocker is impressive as well. His lateral quickness is average, but I like that he has active hands when guarding the ball, making it difficult for opposing players to make passes. I think over time, Baldwin could develop into a great defensive player with some good coaching. Baldwin's physical tools and high motor also aid him in making an impact on the boards. He averaged close to 11 rebounds per game during his junior season, largely due to effort and actively pursuing the ball when it comes off the rim. I truly believe Baldwin has the tools to be a double-double type of player at the next level, especially if he brings this type of energy and effort at whatever college he decides to commit to. Baldwin affects the game in so many ways that he does not have a specific standout weakness, but there are still areas of his game he can improve on. For one, his lack of explosion and creativity off the dribble may hurt him at the next level when being guarded by longer and more athletic players. He is a good slasher at the high school level, but this is largely due to his size dominating the competition. Also, Baldwin's shot selection can be a little sporadic at times. He's a great shooter and he knows it, but this overconfidence can make him a little trigger happy throughout the course of a game. He does not have this issue often enough for it to be a major concern, but it is something he should try to improve on throughout his development. Well, here's my verdict. Patrick Baldwin is a clear one and done prospect with a ceiling higher than the majority of players in his class. At 6'9", Baldwin could score the ball from anywhere on the floor, create opportunities for teammates, and impact the game on the defensive end. 
Even if Baldwin never reaches his true potential, he would still be a very effective role player for an NBA team. But if Baldwin continues to polish his offensive skill set and improve as an on-ball defender, then we may be looking at a future all-star. I really like this kid's upside as a prospect. Hopefully he can remain focused and grounded so we could see him blossom into a star one day.